So CBS News recently interviewed Trump supporters on whether or on how they would feel if Trump gets impeached and removed from office. So let me show you this video clip. What He's not going to be removed. He's not going to be removed. He's not going to be removed. You feel confident in that? Uh, not by me. My, my, my 357 Magnum is comfortable with that. End of story. And they re remove him in the Senate? Mm -hmm. I think it'll cause physical violence in this country that we haven't seen since the, second, since the first civil war. I think it will become the second civil war. I would think that there would be a strong movement. It would be very negative. Possible violence. Not that I'm condoning violence. There'll be a lot of mad Americans. Possibly 70, 80,000, 70, 80 million Americans on the loose. Not very happy. Uh, what we're seeing is a divided country. You know, both sides are dug in. No one's budging. We have families tore apart. It's uh, including my family. My daughters are liberal. I'm conservative. And now that this whole thing has been going on, uh, we just had a problem at Thanksgiving. Uh, very unfortunate. I wish it never would have happened. This whole this whole mess we're in. Did he do something wrong? It doesn't appear to me that he did. But I think you. I think it's going to be very hard for people to change anyone's mind. If you're a Trump supporter, I'll speak for myself. As a Trump supporter, I believe him. And I don't believe that he's dumb enough to say something in front of all those people that would actually get him in trouble. I don't think he's going to get him I really don't agree with him. I mean, he's like the best president, but it's not going to work. But with that. Let me just leave it on this guy for a second. Yeah, that face pretty much says it all. <clears throat> this guy says he would get his magnum out. Um, the other guy, look, some of these people I feel sorry for. The guy with his daughters... He says his daughters are liberal. He's conservative. He had an issue at Thanksgiving. He says, quote, wish it never would have happened, this whole thing. Some of these people, like, <laughs> they're screaming for help. It's like they want out of this mindset. But they, for whatever reason, feel super attached to Donald Trump. Even though it is so obvious Donald Trump is so weak, he is an obvious criminal, a liar. I mean, but let's just get to the... Forget, you know, it's going to be hard to convince people of the fact that he is a criminal, even though all the evidence shows them. They'll say, oh, that's not real evidence. Okay, let's put that conversation aside. The fact that Donald Trump, you know, goes on Fox News and talks about how um, he hates the, uh, I think it's the, the Ukrainian ambassador because she wouldn't hang his picture up. That actually happened. There's a video. Look at my past videos. I, I covered this. Donald Trump on Fox News was discussing how he didn't like the Ukrainian ambassador because she wouldn't hang his picture up. He said it again and again and again. But this ambassador that, you know, everybody says is so wonderful, she wouldn't hang my picture in the embassy, okay? She's in charge of the embassy. She wouldn't hang it. I mean, he, he is so incredibly weak. I don't understand how, how you can't see it. How the president of the United States was bothered by an ambassador because she wouldn't hang his picture up. And that's one example. I mean, Trump obviously is so, he is so just egotistical. Like you can't, any little criticism, anything where he even perceives that you don't like him, he freaks the hell out. That's weakness. That's not strength. But these people don't, don't see that. They don't see how much of a loser this man is. It's amazing. And look, and again, I think that's almost an easier case to make than trying to use evidence to show that Trump is a criminal. And I don't mean in terms of impeachment. I just mean in terms of like selling Trump supporters on why do you support this man? Just show clips of him being just completely egotistical, being obviously somebody who is very worried about his own self-image. Uh, he's just so on the face, so obviously incredibly weak in every single way. I don't know if he didn't get enough love from his parents. I don't know what the hell it is. 
But Trump is a, an incredibly weak individual. And he's been able to ride the fact that he is an egomaniac to the White House. It's just like a whole other mindset of people that I don't understand. And I wonder, people like this, like forget impeachment. He's not going to be, Trump very likely will not be removed from office because the Senate won't convict him. But what if he just loses in 2020? Like they're going to say the election was rigged. Like you, you know that's going to happen. So yeah, there really is no escaping. And I just like, let's look, you know, five years in the future. Who is this man in five years after Trump's out of office? Who is this man? Who are these people? Have they woken up? Have they changed? Have they learned? Or have they only gotten worse? It's, yeah, it's a question that we really have no idea. Um, We don't know the answer to it.